Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sky Pillar Championship Season 2 Week 5, bringing you a division-defining matchup between Mario and the College Station Good Bull, taking on Anthony and the Savannah Sharpedos. It's still safe to assume that I am the Stank, CEO of Champaholics, bringing you all the exciting action live from Champaholic Stadium. Let's get right into the matchup. Anthony leading with this Urshifu. Mario gonna commit to this Thundercat lead. Mario immediately locks into the Volt Switch. And it looks like Anthony is gonna end up pulling the Urshifu in favor of this Lantern. Safe to assume that this Lantern probably has the Volt Absorb and it looks like yes. No dice on the Volt Switch. Mario looking to throw down a Taunt. Taunt does connect. And yes, Lantern, no dice on the Toxic from this Taunt. As Mario hovers, yes, locks into this Calm Mine. Going plus one to the special, plus one to the special defense. Although Mario does not have an attack to hit this Lantern. I wonder what the plan is here as the Ice Beam does come down from Savannah's side of the field. Not a ton of damage. Mario looking to make a switch here, realizes he has nothing for this Lantern. Pulls out the Thundercat in favor of this Bronzong. We will see him hit the field now. As Lantern fires off another Ice Beam. Negligible amount of damage. Oh, but he's got the Freeze on this Bronzong. This could be big for Anthony and the Sharpedos. A freeze on the Bronzong in this early game, and it looks like we'll see another Volt Switch come down from the Sharpedo side of the field. Urshifu makes his way back out from the locker room to the field now. As no dice, the Bronzong does not budge. Mario possibly looking to make a switch, and he does pulls the Bronzong out into this Tyranitar. We will see the Sandstorm go up on this College Station side of the field. As Urshifu does fire off this U-turn, that's going to be a lot of damage, yes. Activates the weakness policy on this Tyranitar. As Urshifu leaves the field back to Savannah's locker room. And it looks like Anthony committing to this Aegis Slash. Mario hovering over the Rock Polish. No, looks like he's probably gonna go for this plus two Earthquake. Will it be enough? As we will see the Aegis Slash go for this speed boost here. Is it going to be able to hold on? Earthquake does fire. Downfield connects on the Aegis Slash. And that's going to be a ton of damage. Aegis Slash does go down. Mario picks up the first KO in this matchup. As Urshifu does come back out from the locker room. Mario not wanting any part of that. Looks to make a switch. No. Hovers over the Rock Polish. Very bold. Still got three turns of sand here. And it looks like, yes, Mario does go for the Rock Polish. No, the close combat does come down from this Urshifu. That's going to be more than enough. Stab four times, super effective. As Tyranitar does go down, Anthony answering back with a KO of his own. Takes a little bit of damage from this Sandstorm on the Urshifu. Mario hovering over, does commit to the Dracovish. We will see him hit the field, trying to get a little bit of mileage left from this Sandstorm as Tyranitar does go down in this Game 5 matchup. As it looks like the Draco opts to lock in the Earthquake. We will see another switch pulling the Urshifu out as Weezing does hit the field for Savannah into this earthquake that's going to be quite a bit of damage on this wheezing able to take it down past half health 
chip coming out from this sandstorm. Weezing able to shake the damage with its black sludge. Neutralizing gas has filled the area as we will see the Dracovish fire off another earthquake. That's going to be enough. The Weezing does go down. Mario picks out another KO in this Game 5 matchup. Sandstorm will subside now. Hard to imagine Mario won't make the switch. Urshifu does come back out from the Savannah locker room. And it looks like, yes, Mario opting to make the switch here does. Pulls out the fish back in favor of the Garbodor. Wicked Blow fires off from Savannah onto this Garbodor. Gonna bring him down just past half health as we do see the effects of the Rocky Helmet onto this Urshifu. Mario hovering over the spikes, but instead commits to the pain split. Another Wicked Blow comes down. Looks like this is gonna be enough. Yes, the Garboder does go down to this Urshifu. Some damage coming off from the aftermath as well as the Rocky Helmet. Both competitors evening up the score in this week five matchup. Mario looks like he's, yes, ends up committing to the Zydog. Hearts and auras are being broken. Mario looking at his potential switches here. As it does look like the Zydog will go for the Dragon Dance and yes, Savannah makes the switch, pulls out the Urshifu in favor of this Slurpuff. This Dragon Dance will go off uncontested. Zydog now plus one, as if it needed any more speed. And that's going to be an easy lock into this Thousand Arrows. The Thousand Arrows does go off, fires onto this Surpluff. And it looks like it's going to bring him down just a little bit past half health as we do see a berry activate. Citrus Berry able to bring the health back up as Slurpuff does fire back with a play rough of his own. A ton of damage brings down the Zydog to his focus sash. And that's going to spell trouble for Mario and the Bulls. Mario without a second thought locks into another thousand arrows. This isn't going to be enough after the berry activates. Slurpuff reciprocates with a yawn. Anthony either saw the switch or didn't want to play with the accuracy of this play rough. Mario looks like he's going to make the switch. Ends up pulling the Zydog back into this Bronzong. Sticky Web does hit the field. And that's going to be a big nerf to this Zydog coming back out. Mario locks into the Stealth Rock. Withdraw on the Slurpuff. As Anthony debuts the Frostlass in this Week 5 matchup. And this Bronzong does not budge. Still frozen. Frostlass does lock into this Shadow Ball. And it's going to bring the Bronzong down to the red. Bronzong still frozen. I believe that's three turns now as Frostlass doesn't opt to go for another Shadow Ball, but lays down the spikes on College Station side of the field. This Zydog is going to be dead on arrival as Mario desperately trying to get the Sandstorm back up for College Station as we will see Anthony throw down another round of spikes on College Station. No dice, this Bronzong is not moving. Another round of spikes come down from Anthony as we finally see the Bronzong thaw out. The Sandstorm will go back up for College Station. Mario did have 
the contingency plan on this Tyranitar. Looks like Mario is going to lock into the heavy slam. No dice. Anthony reciprocates with a shadow ball. That's going to be plenty enough to take down the Bronzong. And yes, Bronzong does go down as a very misfortunate few turns for College Station here. As Mario does opt out to bring out the Draco Vish. Into the web, taking some damage from these spikes. Mario's going to peek at some potential switch ins. Going to become committed on this Fishes as it looks like that is plenty enough to take it down. Oh no, but the Frost Last Curse Body is going to activate this Dracovish not able to use the one move that it is banded into Mario is gonna have to make a switch here as yes decides to pull the Dracovish out in favor of this Thundercat Slurpuff does hit the field for Savannah very misfortunate few set of turns here for Mario and the Good Bulls Levi's gonna take some damage from these spikes As the play rough does come down and no, a miss. We will see a miss here for Anthony and the Savannah Sharpedos. Mario looks like he's going to hover over the Thunderbolt, but no, decides to fire off the Volt Switch. That's going to be enough. We will see the Slurpuff go down for Anthony and the Sharpedos. Mario able to reset here on this cursed body does bring the draco fish back out gonna take a little bit more damage from these stones as well as the speed nerf from the sticky whip lantern does hit the field for savannah and it looks like mario's gonna hover over this earthquake yes does decide to become decisively engaged on this earthquake will it be enough damage yes absolutely bandit earthquake damaged able to take down the lantern but mario now locked in as we will see urshifu come out for the sharpedos anthony down to his last pokemon but what a pokemon to be down to as it does fire off the wicked blow the Sticky Web's not able to push the Dracovish over the speed tier as we will see the Dracovish go down. Mario looks to put in the Zydog. That Zydog is going to be dead on arrival, taking the nerf from the Sticky Webs as well as the damage from the spikes. And it looks like Mario is down to his last Pokemon that's going to come down to the Zeraora as well as the Urshifu. Levi taking damage from the spikes. Mario locks into this Volt Switch. Not going to be able to outspeed the Urshifu and that's going to be it. Urshifu, Wicked Blow, downrange able to pick up the last KO and that's going to be it. Anthony and the Savannah Sharpedos able to edge out the victory in this week 5 Sky Pillar matchup. Join me next time. I am the Stank. Champaholics. <laughs>